An example of a market value ratio is the sustainable growth rate. The sustainable growth rate formula is retained earnings divided by book value of equity. We get retained earnings from the income statement and book value of equity from the balance sheet. Please note that the income statement is a flow account, which means it is calculated over a year while the balance sheet is a stock account, which is calculated at a certain point of time. Since we cannot compare a year to a day, we need to convert a day into a year by getting the average of two balance sheet items. So we will use one income statement and two balance sheets. In summary, anytime you find a financial ratio that includes an item from the income statement and an item from the balance sheet, you will use the income statement item and get the average of the two balance sheet items. So we can rewrite the sustainable growth rate as retained earnings divided by average book value of equity. Let's calculate the sustainable growth rate for the year 2018. Retained earnings is equal to $1 million divided by, well, let's look at the balance sheet for the shareholders' equity. Please note, 2018 is the first year of operations. Consequently, we do not have the average of the shareholders' equity, as we do not know what the previous year is. We have shareholders' equity in the year of 2018 of $30 million. Therefore, book value of equity is $30 million which is equal to 3.33%. The unit of sustainable growth rate is a percentage. This means that the company's maximum growth rate is 3.33% using its internal financial resources, only without having an increase in debt or issuing new equity. The higher the sustainable growth rate, the better. The sustainable growth rate formula could be calculated as a return on equity multiplied by the retention ratio. We could substitute by the values of these two ratios directly if we calculated them earlier. If not, we calculate them now. The return on equity formula is net income divided by equity. The retention ratio formula is retained earnings divided by net income. Let's calculate the sustainable growth rate for the year 2018. Net income equals to 3.5 million from the income statement divided by from the balance sheet, the value of shareholders' equity, which is $30 million, multiplied by retained earnings of $1 million from the income statement, divided by net income of $3.5 million from the income statement. This is equal to return on equity of 11.67%, multiplied by the retention ratio of 28.57%. That will give us a sustainable growth rate of 3.33%. The unit of sustainable growth rate is a percentage. This means that a company's maximum growth rate is 3.33% using its internal financial resources, only without having to increase debt or issuing new equity. The higher the sustainable growth rate, the better.